Welcome to another episode of Marathon Training with Luis Orta. Today is long run day and here's Daniel Chavez with you guys. Hey, it's uh, today was a really special and long day on training and yeah, we'll be happy to share with you. Puma heard that I'm running a lot of miles so they just sent me uh, three new pairs of shoes which I really needed. I already used them though they're dirty but they feel really good. I I think I ran 850 kilometers last month uh, with three pairs of shoes and they're definitely done because that's a lot of kilometers so brand new shoes well not brand new they're dirty but good shoes I'm gonna do part of the run with this and then I'm gonna switch to the faster version este capítulo va a ser sobre ti wow wonderful <laughs> 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 <risa> eh, nada, cuéntanos un poquito sobre ti. <risa> bueno, yo soy Iván González, soy de Colombia, de Bogotá, de la capital. Tengo 36 años, eh, soy corredor ya hace 20 años. Empecé corriendo 1500 metros, medio fondo. Eh, mi mejor marca de 1500 fue de 3 minutos 43. Eh, empecé a correr luego más distancias más largas: 5000, 10000, media maratón y la maratón, la prueba más larga del atletismo, eh, donde conseguí, digamos, que mi mejor resultado, que fue eh, en mi debut correr 2 horas 11.07 en la maratón de Valencia en el 2020, que me clasificó a los Juegos Olímpicos de Tokio. Eh, feliz de hacer esto, apasionado, me gusta mucho, me gusta mucho eh, eh, revisar, leer todo acerca de entrenamiento, de nutrición, de... Eh, lugares donde corren los mejores atletas del mundo, los americanos, eh, bueno, me gusta todo en general que, lo que tenga que ver con, con running. Eh, tengo también como mejor marca en media maratón una hora 02.31 en el campeonato mundial de media maratón en Polonia, en 10.000 metros 28.05 y con muchísimas ganas de seguir mejorando todas estas marcas, de poder clasificarme a París y bueno, aquí viviendo una gran experiencia en Boulder, Colorado, que es un sitio que nosotros en Colombia hemos escuchado mucho y tenemos muy buenas referencias, muchos atletas han venido a entrenar acá, no solo eh, americanos, sino europeos, también incluso latinoamericanos, así que feliz de estar acá. So, we wanted to run part of this long run on dirt road and then the other part on pavement. Some people, uh, Mauricio was a little banged up from uh, the workout that we did on Tuesday and he needed to run on soft, which is totally fine for us. So when we run on soft surfaces, we know that we're gonna be running a little bit slower and the effort is gonna be a little bit higher. And the pace is gonna be, it's not gonna reflect it. So instead of being like, if you were running on pavement, we were probably gonna try to run like 330s. We ran on dirt and we were averaging around 340 per kilometer, which was really good because it was a dirt trail with a lot of up and downs. Uh, and then, After the 20k, we were supposed to do a 15, or I had, I was supposed to do a 15k progression to run 35k overall. Daniel was gonna do 30k, so 20k on the dirt, 10k progressive, and then a little bit of a cool down. And then Ivan had something in between, but we were not. He said it would depend on how he was feeling because he was tired from the workout. Yeah, that day was really nice because we ran on the soft surface, surface and. I knew uh, the Lobo um, Trail. The Lobo Trail is a new place for me, and I feel really good running up and down over there. So we went to 12k and back around 10k, just a small loop in the lake before. And yeah, we finished in the Celestio, and there uh, we start the progressions. Yeah, and it was nice because we had Nate on the bike, and he was giving us our drinks and gels every 5k, because for every long run, we're because we're getting so close to our marathons, we're always trying to practice the drinks and the gels every 5K, just like in the race. So when the race comes, we are used to it and you know, our body, our stomach, everything is ready for it. Yeah, that's was really important to get. Also the, 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 the feed things, it's like we can drink it properly on every 5K, it's like with me and yeah, it's important to have that help. Yeah. With us. So I'm drinking uh, every 5k SOS hydration and then every other 5k 
I take a Morton gel and I pass it with water. And then I've been drinking the Ketone IQ one before, one during, and one after. So I'm taking basically three shots of the Ketone IQ. And I wanted to practice this before my marathon to see if there was any secondary effects. So far, so great. It tastes weird. I have to admit it. But once you pass that taste, it's totally fine. The stomach is handling really well. And I do see and I do feel like I'm getting more focus at the end of my run, which is basically the main purpose why I'm using the Ketone IQ. So I am seeing the benefits. I wouldn't say uh, it's something that you're like, wow, this is insane. But the more you use it, the more you see the results and the better it gets. And also the taste is getting also a lot better. And then most importantly for the marathon, I have not seen any negative results. It's not, it doesn't sit bad on my stomach or anything like that. We just finished half marathon at 350 per kilometer, um, which is not hard, but we went on the dirt roads up and down just to get the, the legs tired. So now I'm gonna do 14K uh, progressive. Idea is to start like 315 or something, 318 down. Uh, hopefully hit marathon pace, the last 5K, 10K, we'll see. Super hot, so probably need to adjust a little bit. No big deal, all good. So we finished the 20 kilometers on the dirt and we averaged around 345 per kilometer, which like I said, on dirt and going up and down, was not an easy effort. It wasn't like too hard or anything, but it was definitely, we were not like easy jogging or anything. We were definitely working at the end. Um, we ran a little bit longer than what we wanted. It was supposed to be 20K and we hit like 21.5. So we quickly changed to our racing shoes and it was maybe no more than five minutes and we started the progression. We wanted, or at first we were hoping to run marathon pace, which is around 310. And we say around 310 because we're at altitude here, so we don't know exactly, like, we don't want to hit like the 305, 307. We said 310 is, should be good. However, we started quite late on for our long run, and when it was time to run fast, it was like almost 10 in the morning, and it was close to 90 degrees and very humid. So we said, let's adjust the paces. It's too hot, it's too humid. There's no way we're gonna be hitting 310s feeling comfortable. So we started closer to 320s, we ran some 317s to some 316s. I think that was the fastest. And then we said we decided to just stay there. And I, instead of going 15K, decided to go 10K. Sometimes I feel like you have to adjust. And it's hard to do it because you feel like you're failing and you feel like you're not working hard enough. But in reality, you gotta do what you gotta do. If it's too hot, if it's too humid, then you're gonna be suffering and struggling and that's not the idea. So I decided to do 10K and I felt good. I mean, it was hard. At the end, I was like literally asking for water every kilometer. And that's when you know that you're dehydrated and you're suffering, you're struggling. What do you think? Yeah, it was not the planning, but you know, one of the best quality of uh, elite athletes is adjusting and be flexible when you need to be. It's like some things happen during our training and during our race and you need to adapt to that fast and that was a training for our brain and for your mind to adjusting to suffering uh, until certain point not more than necessary so it's good training uh, being being warm in the end of the training we need to adjust the pace but yeah it was really hard and good workout yeah 34k for me that day it's like uh, was good enough. One of your longest long runs of the cycle, right? Yeah, it was my longest long run in this cycle and with some progression, so I'm correct. cannot be more than happy. Yeah, exactly. And you finish healthy and happy, so we got it done. I think I got, uh, overall, it was like 21K plus 10K and then a little bit of a cool down. I think I got close to 34 kilometers too. Not my longest long run, but it was a good one. I you know deep down i wish it went wet it went better i wanted to run faster at the end i wanted to run closer to 310 but i know you gotta do what you gotta do and if that's what it is in that day then that's what it is and you have to be happy and proud of your effort 
So overall, a really good day, a really good long run, and just part of the process of marathon training. Remember, it's not just one run or one long run, it's the combination of all of them. So good day, good effort, and a lot more to come. I did 10K at a little bit, like a marathon effort, it's extremely hot. I don't know, it's in the 90s or something. I, I have no idea how hot it is. But, oh, we just can't start at 8 in the morning and expect to finish a strong race, a strong effort. It's too hard. Um, I've been having to like adjust my schedule to be able to match it with the guys. But for a long run, it doesn't work. I can't finish the way I want when it's so hot. Not complaining. Well, I guess I am, but it's just like if you want to have a smart training, you got to be smart about what you do. And this was just not smart. But I guess lesson learned. I wish I knew my lesson already because it's burning. Like my skin is burning right now. No, lo dejé en 10 porque muy duro, marico. Demasiado caliente. No podemos empezar hasta ahora, Mario. Posible. O sea, bajar a lo que yo quería con este calor, mamá. tendría que estar demasiado bien. Bueno, es un poquito cansado hoy. Bastante calor. Eh, llegué al kilómetro 23, 24 más o menos eh, con el grupo. Ya luego hice dos kilómetros más y paré en 26. Hoy fue un día duro para mí. Se siente el cansancio de estas dos semanas de trabajo. Eh, pero bueno, logramos terminar una semana con casi 190 kilómetros de nuevo así que eso es positivo eh, eso, así es esto, a veces, a veces uno se siente muy bien, a veces uno sufre un poquito más eh, así que hay que continuar My best training since I come in this two weeks ago I'm really happy 34k, 22k easy, 8k 3.18, 3.20 and 4k to Kundao. Uh, I feel like uh, after each week I'm feel better. I'm feeling better. Uh, of course the, I adapt better to the altitude last two weeks. So I'm really happy. I I didn't remember how was my last 34k maybe two or three years ago before the pandemics maybe pandemics was really hard for me and after that it's like I of course I stopped to run and I was I was thinking it's like I never will do some long run again or maybe marathons and it's like my survival my revival I feel alive again after a few years with my friends it's this environment it's perfect I cannot be more happy and yeah, I just say thank you for my family who support me all the time. It's like I'm running or not. They are there for me, my wife, my my son now. So it's a uh, really motivation, my friends. Luis, Luis Orta is a giant guy. He never, he never allowed me stop to run. <laughs> it's like every day or every week say, come on, let's go, get it up, go run. I need you, I need you, I need you running, I need you here. Let's do it together. So really big thanks for for him to never allow me stop to run. Yeah. Thank you Nate for all support. That guy behind the camera is amazing. <laughs> thanks bro. Appreciate it. <laughs> thanks so much for uh, the support for everyone who assisting us YouTube the Instagram also the sponsor the feed thank you so much really help her the ketones it's appreciate so it's that help your dreams coming true thank you so much it's un día difícil la semana tuve molestias en la rodilla se me inflamó un poco tuve un día sin sin poder salir Eh, bueno, hoy el fondo estuvo largo, 37 kilómetros, 
al principio me sentía muy cómodo, luego como el kilómetro 15 me empezó a molestar la rodilla, así que tuve que bajar un poquito el ritmo. Y, y bueno, los muchachos sí van a terminar los últimos 15 kilómetros rápidos, así que creo que la mejor decisión que pude haber tomado fue continuar mi entrenamiento aparte. Eh, ellos siguieron mucho más fuerte, yo seguía el ritmo que llevaba. Y bueno, se acabó otra semana, la segunda semana. Eh, seguimos por buen camino. Eh, bueno, ya esperar que sentirme mejor y, y que venga lo que venga. Thank you for watching another episode of Marathon Training with Luis Horta. Thank you for subscribing, sharing, liking, commenting. It helps us a lot, so we really appreciate it. And don't forget, we have a new episode coming every Saturday, so stay tuned for more. Thank you.